Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, been a while since I made a video. I hope you didn't miss me too much. Uh, channels have been doing great. Been getting a lot of new traffic and a lot of new subscribers. So keep that going. Don't forget to subscribe. So today we're going to talk about GitHub and RPG Maker, or honestly any game engine or any, or any application really. So recently it came to my attention that GitHub is accepting larger repositories. Now, what does that mean? Repositories are a place where you can like store and collaborate on software development projects on the internet. GitHub is like the first most common one. There are a couple other big ones, but GitHub is kind of the, the big deal. Man, making videos is hard. <laughs> anyway, GitHub wasn't really useful for game development projects, you know, like what we do on this channel. Familia, while I am an RPG Maker dev primarily, that's the main engine I work out of, uh, this would work for Godot or Unity or Unreal or anything. There's basically two constraints that you have to watch out for. One is the file size must be less than 100 megabytes um, per each individual file. And while it's not super clear on the website, it seems like you don't want to go over 10 gigabytes overall and 5 gigabytes for a repository. Let me know in the comments if that's right. And of course, I'm talking into the context of a free repository. GitHub also offers a premium service, which is not what I'm really talking about right now. So that's not really hyper relevant in this tutorial. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to install GitHub Desktop, which is an application for Windows and Mac. And I think you can use it on uh, Linux as well. And what you can do with that is you can bypass having to use CLI or a command line interface. And by bypassing CLI, it'll make it much more accessible to a lot of devs. For RPG Maker, a lot of the devs are known for not being too code savvy. So while I'm totally accustomed to using CLI myself, I've actually found it to be a little bit more convenient to use the app. So that's what we're going to go into today. OK, so without any further ado, let's get going on the tutorial. <laughs> All right, here we are with our fancy screen share. Glad to get my face off of that freaking camera. Anyway, so these are the two sites we're gonna be working with. One is GitHub and one is GitHub Desktop. So the first thing I'm gonna want you to do is go to desktop.github.com and download for Windows. So let's just click that. I already have it, but I'm just gonna click it so you see what to do and then while that's going and doing its thing, we're gonna come over here to GitHub and we're going to create an account. Now, I'm not gonna go through the process of creating an account with you. Uh, there are lots of videos that'll show you how to do that, but you honestly can probably just figure it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in here at the GitHub website. And I'm not gonna go through the installation process of installing uh, GitHub Desktop since it's already installed in my computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign out just so you can um, see how to sign in. So to sign out, you just come to this window and you click sign out. Now again, it's important that you're logged in at this point because you'll be coming into this and then you'll go to options here. So file, then options, and then you're gonna click sign in here. If you have an enterprise account, you can click sign in here, but uh, that's not really what this video is talking about. That's out of scope. So let's just sign in with github.com here. Continue to browser. It'll open up a window saying, uh, do you want to sign in? And yada, 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 it'll confirm. Okay, cool. So now we're signed in and we are synced with our um, GitHub repository. So we're going to make a new repository. Right here, we go down to file, the new repository. Repository name, I'm going to say YouTube repository. And then I'm just going to put it in C. I'm just going to put it in the open C directory uh, because it will make this YouTube repository folder in the C directory in my base drive. So uh, that's something to notice. Like if you were to, for example, do this and put C inside of your YouTube directory, it would it would actually look like this when it's actually set up. So let's just put it in the base C. I recommend initializing this repository with a readme and you can ignore these for now. These are a little bit more of an advanced setting and they don't really have to do with what we're doing. So let's create that repository. 
great. And next you can go ahead and go to publish repository. And what this will do is this will put the rep repository on GitHub. Then here's the repository name, uh, repository YouTube, repository description. You know, I really don't need a description, but you can put whatever you want in there. So what we're doing is we're creating a repository on YouTube. Okay, great. So that repository should be created. So let's look at my GitHub list of repositories by coming up to the top right once I'm logged in and go to your repositories. And look at that. There's a new private repository here called YouTube Repository. Okay, so now that we have the repository made and it is synced with the repository on our computer, we're going to import our RPG Maker project into the YouTube repository. So I'm just going to go into my files, right? And uh, this is the fake repository. Here's my RPG Maker game. Uh, if I start it up, you can see there's an RPG Maker game here. I really don't need to start it up. I don't know why I did that, but this is an RPG Maker MV video. So here's my MV project or the MZ version of the same project, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these files and let's open up two um, windows just so you can visually see what we're doing. Here's my second window and we're going to go to this PC and then the drive that I specified C and then we have the YouTube repository which is right here and you can see it's the root of the repository because it has these files in it, right? So I'm going to take all of this this is the game here. This is the RPG Maker game. Of course, you can do this with any app that has like a file, normal file structure like this. And now I put these files in here and you can see the Git files are still in here, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to go back here to GitHub Desktop and you can see all these new files, which is ironically 1,111 files. and we can commit these and by committing them what that means is we're going to take all of these files we're going to upload them to github so i'm going to go ahead and do that hopefully my computer doesn't crash i'm just going to call this first commit commit to main it's going it's going to take a while so i'm actually going to stop the screen capture now and i'll come back later when it's done okay we're back so the first phase of that is done and now we're going to go ahead and click push origin here and what this is doing is it's uploading all of the files and putting them on the GitHubs. Now this part is going to take way longer than that last part. Before it was just kind of like getting them ready to be uploaded. And now it's actually uploading them. So it's going to take quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the screen record and I'll come back in like an hour or something. Okay, so we're back. I actually decided to pull some of the files out of the directory that I was uploading just because it was taking too long. But as you can see here, I clearly have some of the files from my RPG Maker MV directory. So just another note on this, it does take a really long time. RPG Maker MV is like, like a base, you know, uh, game without anything taken out is about one gig, which will take a ton of time and it can fail. So if your game is not small, my game is about 600 megabytes, 500 megabytes. It works really well. Uh, it did take a couple hours for mine, but I just didn't want to wait. <laughs> Holy cow, this actually turned into a really long video. You can see the lighting's different. Um, outside it's dark, so you know, I look a little different, so I hope you don't mind the harsh lighting. Uh, wow, that was a pretty long video. Um, let's go ahead and conclude the video for today. I hope you got something out of it. I hope that you learned something. If you have any questions or feedback, make sure to go ahead and leave that in the comments for me. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe. My little baby channel just passed the 250 subscriber mark, which for me is huge but it really is nothing at the same time. So as many subscribers as I can get, I really, 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 really appreciate it. So don't forget to subscribe. Furthermore, I'm about 25 followers away from 1.5K on Instagram. 
So if you use Instagram and you want to see content related to game dev, make sure to follow my Instagram. I'll leave a link in the comments and I might be able to put one here or there or something. Also, another thing is to follow my Discord. If you want to get into these kind of topics that we talk about on my channel more deeply, Discord is a great place. I have a lot of really like-minded devs and I've made a lot of friends on my Discord that love to talk about RPG Maker and game dev in general. So don't hesitate to jump in and talk to me on Discord. I'll be in there all the time. So if you want to talk to me, that's a great place to do it. Uh, I also stream on Twitch pretty much every day at around 8 p.m. Hawaiian time. Uh, I don't really know what that's going to be in your time zone, but you know you can Google it and figure out. And finally, if you haven't heard of my game Familia, make sure to go check it out on Steam. I'll leave a link there as well in the comments. Uh, well, not in the comments, in the uh, video description. So, yeah, this has been really good. Uh, make sure to let me know if you like this video. It was a shit ton of work, so it's not easy to put them out. So any encouragement I get, I really, really appreciate it. And I will talk to you later. Aloha from Maui. Farewell. Goodbye.